Hi Aquarius, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for June 2018 and Aquarius, I feel like this month is very straightforward for you. Oh my goodness. The big news is that Mars, we've got a retrograde happening in your sign. So this is important. Take note don't have to put your seatbelt on or anything because you're not going to be moving that fast but you do need to be mindful that this very airy quality that you have may feel a little bit slowed down that may mean some of the efforts that you're putting in you will have to reevaluate and re-strategize how you're doing those things the most important thing i think that it's going to ask you and make you take a look at is what has you in in action what has you stuck why are you putting your energy into something? Why do you desire that person, right? In any entrepreneurial effort that you have, where's your action? Where's your energy? Where's your strategy? You're going to relook over all of those things. And most importantly, how are you moving yourself through the world? How are you moving yourself through the day? What are your motivations right now? What is getting you up and out of bed right if you don't have an answer to that or that needs some adjustment this is going to be the time this is how you use this retrograde is by answering those questions so that on the other side because a mars retrograde in your sign can feel sticky man it can it can feel like ugh, everything i'm trying i'm not able to push forward how come i'm not able to move forward but on the other side what happens is you go oh this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this doesn't work, this was great, I need to keep that. Your strategy gets to get solid, get set, so that you can have that best experience on the other side. And that's a super amount of really big news for you coming June 26th, all the way until August 27th. So you don't need to buckle your seatbelts, but get ready, okay? Now let's start at the beginning of the month. Right here on the 12th, we've got Mercury joining Venus coming into the sign of Cancer for you. This is the sixth house. This is wonderful if you are looking for a job, if you're freelance, if you need to put out a resume, if you need to make any changes to your health, your daily routine, um, your patterns, any of those things. This is a wonderful energy where Mercury's bringing communication, decisive decision making. He sees the details here, right? Venus is making it smooth like butter. She's making making it very approachable, wants to bring beauty and harmony here. So anything in this sixth house space is really phenomenal for you. So if it's work, health, or whatever, this is a great time for you to make some decisions. You're gonna to wanna to make those before Mars goes retrograde because you're not gonna be bringing your A game to the table, okay? On the 13th, the new moon's gonna be happening here in Gemini, which is a fellow air sign. So this is a nice communication energy for you. And it's in your fifth house. Love that, you could be meeting somebody. This is the house of true love joy, play, self-expression, children, whatever it is that's coming up for you in this fifth house, the new moon says we want to plant these seeds of intention to create something new, have a new beautiful experience here. Let's get a little something going. You know what I mean? So this energy in the fifth house here, I will tell you, if you are in the early stages of dating or you meet somebody, right, with this new moon, if it just blows somebody in, I would wait on the physical part of the relationship if you can because when Mars goes retrograde sometimes you find out that like your your game is off a little bit right it's like this was not good at all like I do better you know what I mean it'll be that kind of talk so I would just tell you you know take it slow if you're getting into something new but if somebody blows into your world oh my goodness enjoy them they could really be coming in to teach you something I also say that because Venus is going to be moving on the 13th into Leo which is just your opposite so the seventh house this is conscious chosen relationships and partnerships that we get ourselves into right so whether this be a business partnership a romantic relationship a friendship your relationships that you choose to have with your family members Venus is trying to bring some harmony Leah wants to bring some joy and some play to the table so wherever you're choosing to hang out with your energy Venus is gonna bring and usher in a little bit of magnetism here if you've needed to have a conversation for a while this is that like butter received the words well this relationship is comfortable or wants some diplomacy kind of energy so that's very good and it's in your back pocket on the 18th we've got neptune turning retrograde in the sign of pisces all the way until november now this is happening for you in your second house so with neptune going retrograde neptune is an outer planet so we don't always feel its intensity as much as the personal planets like mars when it's like in your face you know what i mean so something you could be thinking about something to be aware of that it could be trickling this idea of closure of the idea of 
spirituality and money right it could also very slowly be trickling in and ending to some spiritual beliefs or ties or limiting beliefs that you have around finances value your talents and things like that so i think that by the end of the year aquarius you are prepared to show up a little bit differently and it's been quiet it's been subtle it hasn't been this like big bang in your face it's just been very quiet but it comes to you that you're made of a lot more you know what i mean i love it on the 21st, we've got the sun moving into Cancer. This is a big deal in Western astrology because we don't follow the constellations. We follow the seasons. And this is summer for us. We get a whole new season. So this is a new season of life for you as well happening in this sixth house, right? Work, play, health, um, jobs, right? If you want to get something off the ground, this is a wonderful new seasonal energy. Bring and shine the brightest here. This is where you're going to want to shine. This is what the sun says. The sun in astrology says, I want to shine. I want to be seen. I want to be known here. So this will be in work, health, daily routines, your mental wellness, right? If it's time to get a little something going on here, what are you talking about with yourself? What does that conversation look like? This is a great time for that as well. Now on the 26th, we've got Mars taking that retrograde in your sign. So I've already told you, no seatbelt, please be prepared. You're gonna have to look at yourself and own your tacos and that's fine. When we get to the 28th, we've got the full moon happening in Capricorn. This is lighting up your 12th house space. It's a quiet space. The full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So in this quiet space, you're going to have a shift. Maybe you're feeling, even with this Mars retrograde, like you want to be a little bit more quiet. You need time to reevaluate. You need time to just kind of be alone. And as long as you're not moving into pure isolation, I think the being alone is probably okay. It's good to have a reevaluation of what the heck is going on. When we get to the 29th of the month, Mercury moves into Leo, joining Venus again. Mercury going to be here for quite some time because we've got retrograde coming up. But this is just giving a lot of love, a lot of help, a lot of conversation, a lot of mental stimulation to your relationships. And remember, these are the conscious chosen ones. These are not the relationships that the universe has slammed you destiny-wise into another person. This is you're choosing to show up for these people, places, and things by choice. And this is giving you some harmony, giving you some good vibes to make it through the month with. So if there's a conversation you need to have, if there's a commitment you want to make, we could be seeing some of that happen for you, all right? <laughs> Keep me posted in the comment section down below. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you in July, beautiful Aquarius. Bye.